Hello and welcome to Divine Divinity, an action RPG slash dungeon crawler game that I've actually been... I'm not sure if I want this on the channel, but I'm still going to do it anyway. I'm going to try to play through it. This is... This kind of reminds me of the old days of when I used to play a lot of these types of games, and I really just enjoy them. I've played this one for actually quite a few hours. I may have spent an entire night, but no. There are a few things I don't like about this game, and it's only for recording purposes for me. But, yeah, I can't actually, uh... Oh, I... Oh. Uh, actually, let's do the intro. I'm gonna let you watch the intro. intro won't cause me any trouble, but uh, for the most part, I already have planned out that I I'm am going strong, to be a... as a man should be. The strength of my body and my I'm skill with weapons words. are all I will need to defeat the many foes I will doubtless meet in my life. Evil must be cleansed with iron, gripped in a strong hand. There we go. Uh, as we all know, I am Lord Arcadus, and I'm going to name him Arcadus. I shall make that my avatar. It doesn't really matter as much. I'm going to be playing on normal. I've noticed that normal, there are some severe, I guess, areas that become very detrimental, especially to the warrior, which is supposed to have the most health and be like the most stable of them all. This is your classic uh, rogue and your classic mage, and then it's just the same thing, only for females. As you know, I'm a male, so let's go with this. Now, you start off in this dungeon-esque cellar area. Uh, first thing you'll notice is that there's a pair of shoes on the ground, a potion. You always want to grab the potion early on. You can walk down here. Open this up, take the gold out. Now, funny enough, I actually usually take this chest, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that this time. Uh, nothing in either of these. Uh, loot is, I think, randomly generated, but I'm not sure. So let's go upstairs. Uh, I do want to steal from this guy, because I'm actually allowed to. It's actually the first time I actually got a shield from that. That's actually helpful. Ah, my friend. You're awake at last. How are you feeling? Oh, who are you? How did I get here? 
My name is Joram. I'm one of the healers here. As to how you got here, well, it's an odd tale. Three days ago, while I was searching for some herbs on the edge of the forest, a small white cat drew my attention. I mean, it actually seemed to want me to go with it. I followed it cautiously and literally stumbled over your unconscious body. I immediately brought you back here. It was lucky for you that cat was watching out for your interests a little longer, and you'd have been food for the kites. My thanks for saving my life. Such as it is, I am in your debt, friend. You're welcome. And don't be glum, whatever your problems are. If I hadn't found you when I did, with the help of good fortune and a cat, you'd be stone dead by now. We healers have a saying. As long as you've breath, you've reason to be happy. What You're in my place? house in Alaroth, a small community of healers. In normal times, this place would be bustling with activity, but things have been rather quiet due to the recent troubles. What are these troubles you were talking about? You mean apart from the orc bandits infesting the woods and the fact that we've lost contact with the source? Well... Our leader, Mardanius by name, seems to have gone, how should I put it, well, uh, he seems to have gone as crazy as a loon. Mardanius is crazy? Yes, that's the only way to put it. He's constantly raving about dark chambers and evil spirits, and he thinks everybody is a servant of the dark powers. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he's been possessed by a demon. Of course, uh, that can't be true. Nobody has gone down with possession in, in centuries. Now, this is kind of an evil choice, but I'm pretty sure you can't actually do this. I never took it. That's strange indeed. Is there anything I can do to help Mirandius? Or Mardanius? Well, that's good of you, my friend. And I don't want to sound rude, but we are, after all, professional healers. If we can't help him, I doubt a simple adventurer could do better. Then again, so far all our efforts of curing him have failed, and the man is in constant mental pain. Maybe strange illnesses must be cured by strange methods. Where can I find Mardinius? Follow the street outside my house, a little bit to the south, and then go west. His house is next to the old well. Take care. Uh, before you go, I couldn't carry your belongings with me when I brought you here. Feel free to take anything you find necessary from my house. We healers believe in sharing what we have with the needy. Thank you, my friend. Oh, you're very welcome. You can always repay me later if you feel in my debt. Perhaps you should pay George a visit. He has a small shop and could provide you with some basic gear for a reasonable price. But I'm sure an adventurer like yourself will find ways of making enough money, even here in poor Alaroth. Where does George live? He lives in the southeast of the village, near the gate. My thanks again. Goodbye. Now, uh, I'm going to try to talk about my events, or I guess my speaking. Uh, you can actually raid everything in his house. I would actually suggest taking this thing. Oh. By the way, clicking is kind of weird in this. It works, it's just sometimes there's an issue with it. Uh, you can raid everything in his house, and yeah. Clicking can be odd because you can click inside an entire. By the way, you can right click to get out of something quickly. Uh, you can pretty much take anything here. It's similar to the Elder Scrolls, which. I. As many people know, Elder Scrolls Oblivion is actually my favorite. Uh, Oh, I would, uh, I would actually suggest taking all these mugs of water because they are actually healing items. Uh, this manuscript, you can actually read all of these, including this. I just take them for no reason. And it, what ends up happening is uh, 
In fact, actually, is this one? No, that's the... I think it's this one. Uh... Yeah, this is actually the reason why he's suggesting George. Is because George owes him 500 gold. Uh... I would actually uh, suggest also taking these healing potions. I don't usually take all the books. I usually end up not taking half of them. But I just like stealing everything in his house. Uh, I'm a very annoying loot hoarder. And it is a very, I guess, prolific thing I do. And it's usually why I carry this uh, chest. is because I like throwing all the manuscripts and books into it which I end up stealing and keeping sometimes it's for my own reference actually but overall it's just me stealing it uh... oh yeah, bookcase I think there was nothing else in that so I can just click outside cutscene Mardanius, my poor old friend what are you doing outside? what? Ooh, oh, oh! it's you, Lanilor, I, I was Ah, oh, he will come! The end is upon us! Shilloy, you're raving, Mardanius. You must take more rest. Come, let me take you home. But Nemesis is near! We must be vigilant! We must be pure! We must um, behave! Oh, what did you say, Lanilo? Rest? Oh, yes, I could try to sleep. If only the voice in my head would be silent. Okay, that was a, uh... Lanalore and Mordanius. They're both two characters in the game. Uh, first thing I would suggest, looking around a little bit, see if you can find certain things. Uh, first thing is, I'm pretty sure this is Lanalor's house. He will be in front of, uh, Mardanius's, uh, building pretty much until you go speak to him. So, what I do is I raid his house. This is actually something I didn't do the first time, but I would actually suggest you doing this to get an early advance, uh, advantage in combat. There we go. Because he usually does tend to have some sort of uh, good, I guess, items. You can eventually go in here and like look at his manuscripts, but I would just suggest not doing that. Because I think they I don't like you when you steal from them. Man, there's actually a nice set of uh, shields here. I guess that's... don't have anything in there. Nope. By the way, you can break things. I'd actually suggest against it early on because there's only so much stuff you can get. Ooh. Broken heavy boots. Okay. Yeah, I'm basically equipping, uh, equipping anything I can get early on because it is actually rather essential that you get a good bit of gear early on because it's this game isn't nice. <laughs> this game is actually rather vicious. By the way, you can actually press R to infinitely run. Uh, Landlord also has a, I think it's an herb area right over here. Don't take anything from it there, at least not yet. I found that out the hard way. Because there's an annoying dwarf. I know there's, there's one building up here. By the way, don't get too close to the wall. You hear that noise? Um, there are orcs that will actually shoot you. I didn't know that till later. And I ended up basically fighting one to the death and dying because I didn't know that he was actually shooting me early on. Uh, I think I can go in here. I know there's a handful of things. First, take the magic mirror. You can actually move items. This book actually tells you what to do with the magic mirror. And so I'm going to keep this. Uh, 
this is one of the few things that I'm actually going to like show off because it's actually kind of important. I'm not going to read it because it's really long for no reason. But yeah, you can pause there. And I do know that there's one more item in here, I think. I, I found it actually I can't use later that. on when I turned this into my house. Yeah, broken leather uh, leggings. Yeah, I would actually prefer... Yeah, I would definitely prefer those. I actually turned this into a my house just because it's actually a rather nice setup and it's got plenty of space. Uh, but yeah, early on I had issues with this game and I'm talking about my actual recording because there was some minor annoyances. Uh, that door, I don't want to be going in there yet. I don't want to be messing with that. Uh, I think I can go over here. Yes, okay. An item. Take a random key. Open a door. Brilliant! Yes, okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything hazardous in here, but there's free items. I actually don't remember what was in that book, but uh, an early weapon I can actually use. I remember, oh, I don't think I grabbed the knife. There is actually a rather nice knife. There. Uh, I should be fine, I think, early on. If anything, I might have to face a skeleton over here. I'm pretty sure I'm fine, though. Uh, just take some gold. Always check these items. Uh, you can actually scroll, or not scroll, but mouse over it and see if it actually has anything in it. Um... Uh, I'm going to press M because it actually brings up a map. You can also press A, or, yeah, A, which also has this auto map area. This will actually show you what areas are mapped in the, uh, the region that you've explored. Uh, clicking is still kind of off with this game. I don't, I'm pretty sure it was not built for my computer, but actually I know for sure it was not built for my type of computer. Um, I actually tried to record this with the DX Tory. DX Tory does not like this game. And DX I've noticed that DX Tory does not like a lot of earlier games. Later on, like high action games, yeah, it's fine. Uh Okay. The person George he was talking about is in that's, okay, that's, uh, not George, but this is George. I'm actually going to go see him early for a reason. And, funny enough, I actually ran into this. Oddly. You can't do that. Okay. I need the stuff right now. Look how my hands are shaking. You didn't pay me for the last delivery, old man. From now on, it's gold on the barrelhead before you get your herbs. Understood? Please, I I'll pay you as soon as I get the money myself. I, I haven't had many customers because of the damned orc raiders in the woods, but I'll sell something soon, I promise. George, don't waste my time. If you don't have the gold to pay me, you don't get your herbs. End of story. Look, perhaps I'll tell my colleagues about your little secret, huh? You wouldn't like that now, would you? Please! Just a little bunch on credit, I'm begging you! Look at you, George. You're pathetic. Send for me if you get my money before the cold shakes get you. What are you staring at? Out of my way. Jack and me? Hmm. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be something else, but uh, I wonder what it would like uh, look like with my dagger sticking out of your out of you. I have a hatchet, so... Mm. Okay. This is the first time I'm actually going to say save. And these are my test games. I actually use test game uh, sets of three for this type of, uh, type of game. And it's just out of my own personal habits I do this. One's a main, one's a testing, and one's a... Uh, basically suicide mission which 
was basically all three of them end up being suicide missions for half the stuff. Uh, let's call this a let's uh, the let's play. Play one. Yep. Uh, you can't actually do anything with these herbs, unfortunately. At least not yet. I'm pretty sure that happens later on. Uh, one thing you want to do is... Um, oh, friend. What do you do for a living? Are you another healer? Oh, I. I was a healer, but I retired from the trade. I've seen enough belly wounds and gangrene to last me two lifetimes. Nowadays, I just run this uh, little emporium. Now you look uh, what? Now you look a handy type. Care to run a little errand for me? There's a discount on all my wares if you help me out. Sounds, uh, sounds interesting, friend. Tell me more. Listen, I'm in need of a special call, uh, herb called Druidane. There are some in Landlord's Garden, but the Dand Elf doesn't uh, want to give it to me. <clears throat> you know elves. Tight fisted as dwarves in their own way. Anyway, give me a bunch of those herbs. On the quiet, if you can catch my drift, I'll make it worth your while. Alright, but how do I recognize those herbs when I see them? I'm not an herbalist. Aye, that's plain enough, friend. I'll show you a, a handful of it, of it I've got in my bedroom. I have to give you an idea, but not enough for my purposes. Worse luck. Fine. Now this is the time where my save comes, uh, uh, basically it just comes in handy. When he's in there, the first thing you want to do, and this is what apparently I never thought about doing early on because it was just not smart for me. Uh, I want to actually move just slightly out of that, and okay, it doesn't matter. Pretty sure I could just steal all of his items. Any of these boxes have anything special in them? Nope, 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 nope. I can steal the broom, which is actually a reasonably good weapon. And it's like a, it's a, ba uh, a good backup weapon. Uh, I'm pretty sure this key up here has a purpose in that it opens this chest. Yes! Wooden buckler. That. Take every weapon you can grab. Because this is... I guess that was supposed to be your early weaponry set, but I just never thought of it. And I end up kind of making myself have to deal with something... Uh, there it is, next to the table. Don't better. move it. It's very fragile. And he's talking about this, the Druidane. Uh, you're not supposed to touch it. Don't touch it at all, because he will attack you on sight if you try to basically grab it, touch it, anything. Uh, there's also uh, a key under his pillow. You can actually see that from there. I actually didn't know that till later, but yep, that actually goes to that chest. And, yeah, that's all I really need from him. So I'm pretty sure I will return. He actually sells you basically the gear that you normally would see. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's no consequence in stealing from him during that time, but I'm pretty sure there's consequences I've never actually stolen from him afterwards. So yeah. Now I'm actually going to do a couple other things. Uh, first things first, I want to... Okay, giant sword that actually does a lot of damage but I can't actually use it yet. Uh, destroyed short sword. That's pretty much the basic I'm going to be using. This, I actually need better agility. But, for my purposes, actually, which is better? Yeah, my axe is actually better, even though it's 
pretty much all about the same damage. Okay. Lord Danius, my friend, did you drink the herbal tea I prepared for you? Oh, look, here they come. Oh, begone, foul creatures. Oh, dear me. Come, Mardanius, I'll feed you the medicine myself. Doom and destruction! What? Huh? You! Oh, Thelion Hashnitor, the Lord of Decay! Oh, Begone, foul demon! No, no, it's me, Lanilor. Oh, come, let me make you some more of that hot tea. I will not drink your foul brew, Thelion. Do you really think you can fool me? <laughs> Taste my power! No, Mardanius, no! I am Lanilor! Game over. <laughs> nah, but seriously, this is the guy we just, uh, we robbed in the house just north of here. Hello, oh, stranger. Please come rescue me from this icy p prison. It's getting too cold to, to bear. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I read through a couple of these and it's actually funny. Uh, how can I help you? Only Mardanius, uh, Mardanius can negate such powerful magic, or put such a powerful spell. You have to get into Mardanius' house and convince him to rescue me. Please, I think I'm dying. <laughs> I can see you're freezing. Uh, whoa, I can see you fr uh, that you're freezing to death, friend. Hang on, uh, hang on there. I'll see what I can do for you. The door is locked. This door is locked tighter than a dwarf's ale purse. I like that uh, saying. Uh, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to actually go talk to, uh, what's his name? The crazy guy. Uh, I was actually, I never read that. I'm taking it. <laughs> I know I could steal these things, I'm pretty sure. Now, after trying that, I can find no way into Mardanius' house. Tell me what to do. Uh, basically, he's telling you that there's a cellar basically going into the well. Uh, keep yourself alive. I'll see what I can do to save you. Before I go... Okay, see this cap? Fun. I already know this. Because I actually did this. This is the first thing I did when I actually started playing. It was very unintentional. And I'm pretty sure I could just click one second. Yeah, it is. That's just for a free bit of uh, thousand experience. It's just worthwhile to do that. Uh, Next thing I probably want to do is kill some rabbits after I go do this. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, actually, which is smart enough to do, is there's a skeleton up here. Press uh, space to pause. Couple hits and he's dead. There's a handful of items. There's an emerald there. I don't think any of these have any items. But wait. Pressing C puts you in and or out of combat. Uh, when you have these locked chests, it's easier just to break them. Though I think you may lose some stuff. It doesn't really matter to me as much. At least not early on. Uh, most of this stuff is just junk. When you're in combat, you will attempt to break anything, even if it's not locked. So that's what I'm saying is try to keep out of combat. Down here I'm pretty sure this area is safe. Just looking for some items. Nope, nothing in there. And up here there's... I think there's something in a chest down. I think it's in that. 
Uh, I usually come back and kill all these rats just for some early, I guess. It's, it's cheap XP. Let's see, anything up here? Nothing useful, okay. I'll just keep going. Brilliant! I would very much like to go through there. Uh, right here, there are dwarven ales. Ale. Wine, wine. There's another one, I think, right there. And usually what I do is I move this junk over here. I very much actually... I don't think I can pick those up, which kind of annoys me, but okay. Actually never move this one. Okay. Apparently there's no other items here. Nothing there, and just to be... Make sure I got everything. By the way, you can also hold Alt, and it'll show you any items or things that are left on the ground that you may not have seen. Hold. Um, do I know you? How? What are you doing in my house? No, you don't know me. I got through those stinking. Uh, I got in through those stinking cellars that smell of boiled cabbage. Landlord asked me that to ask you to unfreeze him. You see, he's getting rather cold. Boiled cabbage. Ah, the taste of. You're not an agent of. Thelrion Hashnator, are you? I'll destroy you, creature of darkness. Where's that spell? No, 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 no. lore. You know, your elven friend, pointy ears. He needs your help. You've frozen him, and now he would like to be unfrozen. What's that smell? What? Lanalore? Lanalore? Where is Lanalore? Speak up, stranger. I'll have you know that I control my magic and kill you uh, with but a word. Is that boiled cabbage or something? <laughs> He's just outside. Please calm down a bit. And I shall slowly escort him. XP. Thank you, stranger. I thought I was uh, I was never going to get out of that prison where my feet are still on. Seven gods. My toes have gone blue. Let me rub them. Ah, it hurts. The blood is returning. Hmm. Or hi. Something like that. That is better. Now what can I do for you? Oh, my benefactor. Are you alright? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm already feeling better. We elves recuperate fast, you know. First thing to do now is to find a way to help Mardanus. The man is raving, and it's only a matter of time before he starts hurling destruction spells at shadows or passers-by. Look what he did to me, if, you're, if you don't believe what he's capable of in this state. Tell me what's wrong with him. Uh... People start. Uh, he's basically talking about uh, possession. But regardless, it's actually a good time to cut off the episode. I will see you guys on the next episode. If you like what you're watching, subscribe. Not well. Have a nice day. I'll see you on the next episode. See you then. Thank you for watching, and remember, all shall subscribe to the one true.